an element that has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d3, 4s2 is a transition element. Well, is it? A couple ways to look at this. One is to see that it has an unfilled D shell, or partially filled, I should say. Right, three D electrons, and that's usually a good sign that this is part of the D block, or in other words, it is a transition element. So this is indeed true. Another way to look at it is this is the electron configuration, and these numbers represent the electrons in those shells. We'll count up the total number of electrons we've got. We've got two, four, 10, 12, 18, 21, 23 electrons, which means it's 23 protons. And if we go look at the periodic table, and we look for 23, we find vanadium. Vanadium is right here, it's in the D block. Um, and this region here in the so-called D block is where you have your transition elements. So that's another piece of evidence that this is indeed true. How about the next statement? In some a in atoms and transition elements, the 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, and 3p orbitals are completely filled in the ground state. Uh, let's see. Well, it's cl it's true that the 1s and 2s are filled. Right. Let's take you know the the, the first transition element, scandium. What is filled here? Well, the 1s2 is filled, 2s2 is filled, 2p6 is filled, 3s is filled, 3p6 is filled, and there you go. So indeed, as soon as you get up to scandium, 1s, 2s, 3, uh, 3s, 2p, and 3p are indeed all filled. So this is true as well. All transition elements have at a minimum these shells filled. Now, is it a correct explanation? No, because this is not a definition of a transition element. I mean, there are other elements, say, you know, pretty much anything in group four, five, six, or period four, five, six, that are gonna have their 1s, 2s, and so on filled. Uh, so just because these guys have uh, these filled doesn't make them transition elements, right? It's not the, the main reason. Uh, the main reason is they're gonna have unfilled or uh, you know, partially filled D shells. They're gonna be in the D block. So this is an example of a true true that is not a CE, so not a correct explanation because this does not properly explain this even though both statements are true.